about to kick off the weekend it's friday i am feeling a little better if you watch my last vlog i was starting to get a little under the weather i still have like obviously you can hear it possibly my crud in my face but i <laughs> but i'm feeling a little better and i got the itch to like clean up the house today so that was feeling good to be productive so i'm just kind of getting back on track today going to do some editing right now and edit a vlog as well as some client videos probably send out some pitches it's been a minute since i've done like follow-ups on pitches so i've been a little behind on that and i'm gonna try and get that back up if you're new here i was laid off about two months ago and i now am restarting my freelance digital media marketing business and i also have just started a job as a barista on the side so that's a little bit about me so that's what i'm doing today i'm kind of re recovering from this couple of days of just like feeling crummy i did have to go to the dentist yesterday which did not help because i have never left the dentist happy as much as i would love to i simply just never have a good time i got this health aid seasonal kombucha the other day and it is it's holiday cheers spice blend so there's no way to know what's in it i guess it's proprietary so it has the holiday cheers spice blend and vanilla and it's really good i feel like the vanilla makes up for me like if it weren't if it were just the spice blend i feel like it might be a little too spicy but with the vanilla it's just like it's really good i like it so I've been drinking that. Tonight I have a training at the ranch that I volunteer at. It's uh or like a class rather. It's like a, it's called horsenality. Hor horse horsenality. It's called horsenality. I love getting opportunities to learn new things about horses because I know, as I always say, I know just enough to be dangerous. I am really excited for that class. I think it'll be really informative and fun. And then after that, I'm going straight to Wicked with my friend Megan. It's technically the premiere night although at this point all of my friends have basically seen it because there were so many early access things going on so i'm actually kind of the last in my group but i've not heard a single bad thing from anyone about it which makes me nervous i'm afraid i'm gonna be like the one person who hates it somehow but i'm trying to figure out how to dress for that because at the barn the class is going to be outside and it's finally getting cold here which means i get to layer up a good amount but that also means that i'll be going straight to the theater and won't have time to change so i'm trying to figure out what will also be comfortable at the theater so that's that's kind of what today is looking like um i'm in the middle of making garlands for my house out of orange slices it's something i've been doing for the last few years those are currently in the oven drying i'm working on them slowly slowly batch by batch because they take a minute to dry out i'm gonna start editing now i'm gonna try and get a lot knocked out before i have to leave in about four hours which doesn't feel like a lot of time right now actually with the amount of stuff that i kind of want to get done in this period of time but i'm gonna go check on my garland and then i'm gonna work for a little bit and then we'll just see where the weekend takes us so afternoon 
I am gonna start putting my wreath together. I'm kind of on a time crunch, but I really want to get some of these put on this ring and just start going. I don't know if I even have enough, but I've just been really wanting to get this started. So I'm gonna try. I have to go to the barn in just a little bit, so I might pause it, but I want to just like start getting it done and then see what happens. So that's what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> So what I'm doing, and this is essentially what I did last year, and I have no idea if there's an actual, if this is actually how you're supposed to do it or not, but so take it with a grain of salt, but I just shove, I have this frame thing. I know you can make these freehand too without a frame, but I'm not brave enough for that. So I've just been shoving branches into the little slots and then I'm not tying anything yet. I'm just shoving until I get like a full circle and then I'm going to kind of bend and manipulate and like tie where I need to. So I'm just trying to make it full enough and then I will kind of focus on making it rounder and that is kind of my plan right now. So. Okay, this is what I've got so far. I am missing a lot of branches. Like if you look at the back, I've got like, I've got like a whole section right here that I will need to fill in. I didn't get quite enough. So I'm gonna go back to Home Depot and see if I can grab some more branches. It smells so good. So I am almost done, but now I gotta go to the barn. <laughs> Wrapping has gotten more creative and crafty every single year. I, a few years ago, I started doing the butcher paper, and then I would occasionally I would do stamps on it, and occasionally I would do it just like plain, and then I would always put like a dried orange slice ornament or some branches with it, just very like vintage classic. And so that's the way I've been wrapping my gifts for the past few years, and the way that I really enjoy doing it. This year, I decided to paint my own wrapping paper essentially. So I got the brown butcher paper and I'm going to paint little designs all over it with white and gold. And that seems very time consuming because it is, but I'm very excited to do it. So I'm gonna do one long sheet at a time and lay them out to dry and see how much I can get done tonight. <laughs> see Wicked at 8.15 and then we're gonna go see Wicked at 12 and then we're gonna go see Wicked at 2. It's gonna be a whole day of Wicked. Friday. I just got off work. I just picked up some more lights from my favorite thrift Christmas pop-up. 
they're like two dollars there and which is thrift love in columbia if you're in the area i also found these these little gingerbread ornaments which i'm gonna put on my gift wrapping i'm so excited about these i just happened to see a pack of them and i was like these are so adorable now i'm gonna go to cute vintage things which is where i got this coat this is it's like my favorite vintage thrift store um so she's having a little sale today so i figured I might as well stop by twist my arm so i'm gonna stop by there and then i'm gonna go home I had to tie back a little bit more around the edges because I got a little overzealous and she was a little too big for the door. Like I couldn't close the door <laughs> when I opened it. Good. Hopefully the citrus will hold up since this will be here for like a month. I don't really know what to expect from that. I've not put citrus in it before. Last year it wasn't nearly as big either. I might add some different things later on. I think this is cute for now though. Basically what I did, I had no technique. So I just jammed the branches all in one direction in the frame that I had, which was just this wire frame that I bought at a craft store. And I just kept shoving them in and then I would tie them down in the back so that like the end of the branch wouldn't stick out, like the end with no foliage on it. And then I just kept doing that for like three hours and here we are. So I don't know why I enjoy doing this so much, but part of it, it just occurred to me that part of it might be that I had... An obsession with Colonial Williamsburg when I was younger and I watched a lot of historical videos about Colonial Williamsburg and one of the things that they do for Christmas is put out like real wreaths with dried fruit everywhere because that is historic and that thought just occurred to me I hadn't thought about it in like 10 years but that might be part of why I enjoy doing this so much <laughs> 